Hello YouTube, it's PH Gaming Scotland here and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are well and gaming lots. So in today's video I'll be looking at my Game Boy Advance collection. Now I have not seen this Game Boy cover or my Game Boy collection in a good 16 years, so it's been a long time coming, this video has been. What I used to love was at the end of a, a school week, because it would have been at school time, it would have been about 8 years old, me and my friends would rush home on a Friday from school, get our Game Boys and sit either in the park or sit in the street and just play Pokemon on, on the Game Boy Advance or any other game that we had at the time. Um, so this will bring back a lot of memories for me, this video. Um, so yeah, without further, without further ado, let's jump in and see what games I had, because I actually can't remember. So a few months ago we was clearing out the shed and I finally found it. I found this is the case. Now back in the day, the game was called Electronics Boutique and that was the weird symbol on the bottom of the case so this shows you how old this is so this is the case here I'm hoping this actually works I've not actually seen this in a very long time now, I don't know if I'll be able to actually get into this with one hand but here we go oh. Right, so there's the Game Boy Advance. So here we go, the Game Boy Advance here. It's a purple colour. So obviously you've got your main screen, you've got your A and B buttons there, maybe speaker. You've got start and select and you've got your arrow keys. Now this is not focusing for whatever reason. I have no idea why. But anyway, there's the Game Boy Advance there. I think this is blurry. I think this is blurring out. And there's the back where the case is there. So that's the Game Boy Advance. I'll put that to one side. Now to check out my games. I actually can't remember what they were. So... The first up we've got... International Karate Advance. Now this, what I remember, was... A karate game, you basically picked a character and then you had different stages and you went through different stages to see if you could become the best. Next we have Filler Decathlon, which is an athletics game. I was a massive fan of athletics and that is the game there. It's got all the different disciplines like your 100 meters, 200 meters, high jump, long jump, short putt. Um, steeplechase and all sorts of things there. There it is. And next up we have GT Advance 2 which is like a Colin McRae rally type game but it's a port of it. It's very similar to it for Game Boy Advance. I really really used to love the Colin McRae games on PS1 and just in general because they were fantastic games. Now next up we have Moto Racer Advance. Now this is more like your Motocross Mania sort of games, sort of dirt bike racing games on your on a dirt bike. Now these were really fun. Um, I, I wanted to actually check to see if there's actually anything on the back there, but it's just got Nintendo there. So there it is. It's really fun. I really enjoy these type of racing games. So that's game number four. Now this game is actually going for quite a lot online. It's called Creatures. Can't really re remember much about it, but. From what I can remember, it was one of the worst games on Game Boy Advance, in my opinion. I think you were just a wee creature and you were just scrolling along this from left to right, like a 2D sort of game, try to kill enemies and try to get to the end of the level, I think. I think that was it. <coughs> so, Creatures, really crap game to be honest, but it's good to look back. But obviously, as a kid, as you can tell, these games aren't in the box. Now, obviously, as a child, when you're eight, you get the game, you play it, and you throw away the box. So if I had actually kept my boxes, which I'm kind of gutted at now, being a gaming collector, uh, these games probably could go for £50, if not more each, which is kind of gutting, but at the end of the day, 
I'm not going to be selling any of these games, so it's just good to have as memories, really. So another one here is Monsters, Inc. And, yep, is that Finding Nemo as well? So two games in one, which was really good. I'm a, quite like Disney, because I've got a wee sister. She likes watching Disney films with me, so it was good to have... And also, I, I liked Finding Nemo at the time, and also I was a big fan of Monsters, Inc. growing up, so... Yeah, that's why I think I got that game. Can't really remember another reason why I would buy it, but I like the film, so I thought I'd try the game out. And the games were actually quite good. I just hope when an edit in this isn't actually backwards. There we go. Now this was one of my second favourite games on the Game Boy Advance in my collection. It was the Flintstones, Big Trouble and Bedrock. Now this was a really fantastic, fun uh, sort of 2D sort of side-scroller and you had to kill enemies and jump on things and to get to the next stage and find I think was it a key or was it something something like that to unlock the next stage of the map or level but it was really fun and addictive it was quite difficult and it was really good to see the games yeah, the, it's good to bring back memories of the games, I'm not, I'm not, as I said, I've not seen these games in like 16 years and I thought I'd make a quite a good video, so the Flintstones, there we go and my very final game is Pokemon Silver now this, I put a good 50, if not 100 hours into the games this game in particular, because it was absolutely fantastic I think, me and my two pals at the time I had the Silver, Pokemon Silver, one of them had Pokemon Yellow and the other one had Pokemon Gold, I believe. And we just sat and we just swapped the games about from our Game Boys and played them, which was really good. So hopefully now I'm going to try and boot this up. And actually, I want to see if this works. Look, I'm putting in the game here. So fingers crossed this works. I don't actually know if this will work or not because I've not switched it on in such a long time. Let's see if it works. Oh my god, the battery is actually still working after all this time, holy cow, I honestly did not expect that in the slightest, now it's all blurry, fantastic, I want to actually see if this boots up, I want to see if this boots up, There's oh come on, come on, will this boot up, I don't know if this will, Or is it just froze there? I actually don't. Th it's, it's working, but I think it's that old that it's just it's not going to move. I don't think it's moving, unfortunately. But it's really glad to see that this still works. It might just be the game. Let me check to see if if it's just the game. I don't know. I can do this one-handed. But anyway, guys. That has been my Game Boy Advance collection. If you want to see more types of videos like this, by all means let me know when I've got quite a few systems and games to go through if you were to say yes in the future. But without further ado, that has been my Game Boy Advance collection. And as always, if you want to leave any comments in the video comment section, by all means leave them. Hope we hope and I'll reply to every single comment in the in the uh, comment section down below. I was going to say video description but it's not. It's comment section. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Patreon Gaming Scotland and I'll see you on another video. Thanks very much indeed guys. Adios.